One, Angela Gilroy Young. <laughs> You're in the Welcome to Absolute Soundy. We're in our living room with Aaron Walt. Angela Gilbert, who's holding that camera. We're talking about you. <laughs> talking about... We're talking about industry. We're talking about all kinds of things. Trying to philosophize and get across an idea what the heck this crazy Angela Gilbert Young is. I know we're dual personality. We know that rocking the boat would, would convey the Angela Young who came out that we met 10 years ago. Then we got close together. COVID allowed us to get really close together. And I watched the development of a beautiful mind and an artist doing these things that works, I think, seven days a week, 12 or 16 hours. And you know you do. The fact that an industry makes audio components and they do things and they say, all right, we're going to jump this, this high jump. And we're going to make something. The industry says that we can jump six feet. And then the next guy comes along and says, I can jump six foot one inch. And then the next guy is six or seven. I can go seven feet. And then we'll break that, that, that threshold. And then we'll jump a little farther. Oh, you know what we'll do? We used to make it for $4,000 to go seven feet. Now we're going to make it for two. Now we're going to do a cold amplifier because that's green. And we're following a, a public initiative or what's cool or happens to be in form in the in confirmation of what the marketing world can really sell the best because it's about moving boxes and making money for them and then I meet you and what do you do there's no bar you you ask the question why can't I jump a hundred feet and you do you innovate and go way beyond what people do I don't know what for I see you do achievements in front of me I see you do things that no one else has ever even thought of and you do them well, and you do them tested, and you do them with a vast amount of experience behind you, and your enjoyment and proud daddy syndrome of it lasts about one second. Because every time I see you walk when you're in the factory in Interkip, every time I see you work on something, every time I see you just have some water, go somewhere, your mind is on creating. Is it torture for you to do anything that everybody else does, like go on a trip? Like have some downtime? Is that torture for you? That's a yes that you're shaking. <laughs> is it happiness for you when you can just think and occupy your mind with the most complexities you can and try to innovate and do something you've never thought of before? That to me is inspiring. And that to everyone else. is strange. Yeah, it's just for, you're just weird. And you eat more than anybody I've ever seen. And I want people to know all about you. And the more we can talk about it, and the more we can tell people, the happier I'm going to be. Well, he's the audio anarchist, right? Well, if the industry is just trying to one-up the other person and see who can make the most amount of profit, if, if you say going against the, the convention, the grain, the, the powers that be, the way things we've accepted, because there's a hundred stores behind it and they are making money, and there's a thousand companies out there and they're all making money and all they got to do is just nudge out the other guy a little bit or maybe look a little more impressive on the outside y yeah that's an anarchist well i've i've always been angela's an anarchist I've there she is been kind of a non-conformist um and i think that conventional wisdom is often wrong correct things you can get so, stuck in that trench can't you and it's it's a you can uh, get stuck it's a trap sure it's a it trap. is and it's a deep hole sometimes that you can't get out of. So you know, you get used to something, you repeat it. You get it. used to it, and you get it's like an old comfortable. This pair is what of we get for a thousand bucks. Right, it's like an old comfortable pair of house slippers. Yeah. You never want to get rid of them because yeah. you broke them in. <laughs> they're just really comfortable. But you know what? Sometimes they wear out, and you need to get a new pair. Yeah. So, I think there's a lot of good things to be said about someone who thinks outside the box. Yeah, aren't we all? You know, we're sick and normal. Most people that love music and listen to it, they're passionate people. They just want to play their favorite music and get so much out of it they can't imagine. And for somebody to come along and do stuff that's never been done, do it faster, do it better, do it with more energy, more speed, more correct contacts, the least amount of components, people don't do that. Nobody does that. There's well, and there's one a person that does it right in front of He's us, sitting right here. Now, how the heck that person lived an hour and fifteen minutes from me in a forest as a minimalist, as an artist, dual personality, man and woman, beautiful in mind, beautiful in effort, 
I mean, we make and do, I'm going to say 300 some odd products per year. And if one human being had to do those from very start to very finish, do the logistics, align all the parts, get all the steel cases ready for build the products, 300 of them, cut all the foam by mm-hmm. hand <laughs> in stereo, put it in the boxes, tape up the boxes, ship them worldwide, ship funkies over to Denmark, ship funkies over to Queens, New York, ship some stuff and some modifications for us out to L.A. and Portland. And the only thing that, that Angela gets upset with is that I don't work seven days a week. I only work five. Well, <laughs> See? Hey. Is she, are you on one of those golf trips again? Are you, eventually we've got to quit. I'm like, if I don't do that, I'll burn out. I love helping people, but it's exhausting because you've got to put your heart and soul into it. And I love doing it for people. That's why we got along so well. Heart and soul, that Angela Gilbert. And everything she touches and does. Right down to every solder connection. I remember... We had a solder connection on I-800, my, my usual piece, the, the, our starting $3,000 integrated, which is a fabulous piece. For $3,000, you can buy something for ten or 15000 Good luck getting anywhere near it. You won't. But she soldered in this output, and I'm at the factory. And you're there. You remember. I get on my phone, and you look at me. What are you doing? <laughs> I laughed. I said, I'm timing you. And you said, hmm. And you kept soldering. Then you finished and completed one connection of a 12-gauge wire onto a gold mining post, one of our posts that go out the back for positive and negative speaker terminals. And she looks at me and she goes, you know what she said? She goes, how long? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm laughing. Sorry about making fun of Chinglish. I know you make fun of me too. It's out of love, I promise you. Anyway, yeah. I do? Yeah. No, you don't. No sense of humor on Angela Gilbert either. Well, I either. think the reason that, that it works is that you have uh, neuroses that mesh. Maybe. You need, Maybe. You need to do what you do to relax. Yeah. Fortunately for us, what he does for his relaxation helps us do what we do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because absolutely. if he were the typical guy, he'd be on vacation most of the time. And what would we get? Nothing. We'd have Bumpkins. nothing. It would never, right. it would never, it would never exist. And back right. to the minute in 44 seconds, I turn around and I say, I look over and I say, Angela, the only reason someone would take a minute, I said, usually a minute 44 seconds to do a one 12 gauge tournament, you can do that in 30 seconds yeah, pretty easy. That's right. She's melding. And when I mean melding, I mean like welding. Yes. Three solder joints. Well, one solder joint, but three layers on top, building up layer upon layer upon layer. So they're thick and dense so that when the thing burns in, it's, tr- it's travel or vectoring or pulsing is very fast because the contact's so good. I said, you'd only do that if you saw this little piece that you're doing, this little connection. You're seeing that as art, not a task. I said, it's not taking a bolt off a wheel to you, is it? You know what I call those solder joint? What? A pillow's joint. A pillow's pillow joint because you're building up a pillow larger to sleep on? or <laughs> Because it, it's round. It's round. Okay, and it's beautiful and it's dense. And it and audio is a huge benefit. So, you know, when we met, we were at the show and everybody thought you were painting your clothes and you were an oddball. And you're, and I'm looking at him saying, that's the only genius in the room. That's the only person that's sitting there thinking I'm like everybody else thought doing things and testing things no one else tested because you can because it's fun because you might learn something because you might develop and when i first met you i got the smallest little power line conditioner and i tried it and it floored me that i could take a 500 dollars amp and beat a 1500 dollars amp easily and i said what how does this make any sense you're making what 20 bucks why would you do that and then you said to me after i sold about 60 of them why do you sell 60? Everybody else sold 10, but then you turn to me and he says, you know why you did that, Mike? Because you'd rather make $20 and help somebody than sell them a more expensive amplifier and make more profit. You're doing the right thing. Then we became closer and closer. We slowly got closer and closer. What used to and still does sometimes this day, although it's getting better, the people out there are responding. They're starting to understand who you really are. It used to drive me batshit crazy that I had the most wonderful product, and I've been in Hi-Fi 47 years. I bought the best stuff. I've heard everything from the very beginning of my Comrade Johnson's and my Macintosh's of the 60s and 70s all the way through today. Every brand, everybody who's ever made Hi-Fi. There's a couple exceptions, I'll bet. 
but I've seen the industry, the flow and all that stuff, and I was disappointed because the stuff that kind of moved the needle a little bit was nearly a hundred thousand bucks. And the stuff that was decent and up through ten or fifteen thousand was no better than the stuff at eight hundred dollars from Yamaha or anybody else if you just did a little work and cleaning up your power and you made the right connections and the people were right. Then why you blow all the money? You don't really get that much for it. I get years and it was driving me batshit crazy because you took the needle at two thousand or a fifteen hundred dollar funky that you make out of the kindness of your art. And a funky is basically beautiful parts like our three thousand dollar amp, shaved down so that a beginner can have something and never burn. Get started on high fine. Here we're going to give you a car that looks like a Toyota, but it's going to race like a Ferrari. And when I got all these things and I had them, it made me go, like I say, batshit crazy because I want to tell the world and I can't reach them all. Now, I get that we don't want to do that because she can't. How many can you make a year? You're at 300. I'll bet you can make six. At a dry, it's unbelievable what you can do in a year. No one can do it. Even what you do, if you told me anything that you make, I could do that for the same amount of money and get paid what you get paid, I'd laugh at you and say, there's no way I can do it. I'm too, too slow, don't know enough. It would take me 40 years. Well, I wouldn't be crazy. Sitting, I wouldn't be sitting here having this conversation today. From Chicago. From Chicago, uh, from New Yorkville, Illinois. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It wasn't for Angela Gilbert because when we first met in the early 2000s, I'd been out of the audio business for over 15 years, and we started talking about his products at the time, which were Blue Circle Audio products, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, I'd, I'd never heard of them, but I'd been out of the audio business for a while. There's one right over there, yep. by our wings. Yeah, and we, and we started talking about these products, and he goes, well, you might want to try selling a couple of them, and uh, I was intrigued enough by our conversation to give it a try, and here yeah. I am 23 years later selling the latest and greatest stuff. Why? Because it's stuff that really does make a difference. Yeah, it's worthy. And it's it's worthy, it's worthy of customers making the investment because it's the audio investment, really, of a lifetime. Yeah. It's not an investment for me That's because right. I wouldn't be selling the stuff if I didn't think it was worthy. Yeah, you're, you're, at the, you're at the end point where you're not trying to sell it to I'm make a huge income or a living. You've, you've yeah, been there and done that. I've been there and done that. Yeah. I'm trying to do the right thing, too, because I believe That's right. that the stuff is better <coughs> than what's out there. For me and an Angela Gilbert Young, it was very simple. I met a Rembrandt, a Picasso, whatever you want to call it as an artist, that happens to put all that artistic energy into, the, into conveying music through electronics. And I said, well, if I get to my maker at the end of the ride, and I met the greatest producer of music that I'm ever going to meet, and I didn't protect it, try to convey and get you to get as many boxes to as many people so their heart and spirit soar, because nothing makes mu the, the spirit soar than, like music does. Nothing does. And you give that to people, and that makes me eternally grateful. For you, I think you just want to run up another mountain like a 10-year-old and go for about yeah. three seconds and then give me another mountain. I'm thinking how to input the NFS-225. See, right now, probably why you're taking the video. I See, think that's she's right. walking. He's, he's bored trying to take this video because yeah. he's, he's, yeah. he's oh, busy I can't, designing right I can't now. make more stuff and go farther. She's walking yeah, doing... two old men talking. Two old men, yeah, it's two old guys talking. Two, two old men talking. And she's over there walking. I talked to her a year, maybe a year and a half ago. Walking, been walking, doing stuff. I said, you're designing stuff in your head right now, aren't you? Yes, I am. Well, you, you can tell because you talk mm. and you don't get anything back. No, it's that, there's admiration and appreciation. There's somewhere else. This, uh, this person, the great artist and all that stuff in, in the living room, we're going to have some wings soon and I'll enjoy that stuff. But it is refreshing. He's right on the wings again. She's right on those wings. Aaron, you better watch it. You're not going to have any left. And she's... she's you, you get these things and I've noticed when... Angela Gilbert's doing things that there's a, I don't know if it's an, an East culture and West culture understanding of both, but what she'll do, what you'll do, is you almost never lie to yourself, actually or emotionally. And when you do that, you can achieve because you don't redirect yourself, your brain, anything. You can stay on point 
and you can still see the rest of the world. You can navigate through bumps, little hookups, little hiccups, all these little things. You don't get emotional walls in front of you, right, wrong. You don't judge. That's one of your greatest gifts, along with being an artist. And how it conveys the music is priceless. So I'm going to eat a whole bunch of wings. I know you want to eat wings, not listen to old guys anymore. Yeah, get it, go, get it over. You get, get a, over with. <laughs> get over with. Are you falling asleep? Yeah, well, I think so. <laughs> well, I'm, I, I have to point it to you, old guy. Well, we gotta, guy we got to keep talking about you because we got to get people to understand. It's not that easy. You're not the, the normal type of person. Well, I, I think it's nice to do this just for the audience. To Slow know down. That the real person exists. It does. The, You're behind the, the camera. There isn't Angela Gilbert Young. They, Say, it, they think you know, that maybe that's made up. Oh, so, well, it's not made well. That's, it's, not. it's not. It's behind the camera. So This is the feet. That's we don't have Angela's shoes on today. we got Gilbert's but, shoes on, by the way. Yeah. So th this, I'm, I'm about out of things to say because there are no more superlatives that it's, I Yeah, well, so I don't know why this person has such a sense of humor, but they do. Anyway, can we eat some wings have now? Sense of humor? You have a sense of humor. What do you mean I have a sense of humor? Exactly. I think I'm done. I think I've proved my <laughs> point by now. We rest your case. You we rest. Honor. You're already doing sense of humor. All you're doing is sense of humor. He tarchy. He, he That's my deficiency. Chingalish. That's that's right. Why is it yellow? Violin. Why is it yellow puggy? Because it's a yellow plug. Yeah. Oopsie. <laughs> no sense of no, humor. That's right. The, that's no the deficiency of, of my own language skill. Yeah. Skill. <laughs> Your skill. You didn't take ESL. It's like SKU. I did not take ESL. ESL stands for electrostatic loudspeaker, which I like. They like just loudspeaker. But it's English as a second language, isn't I have it? Never know In that this until, context. I have never known that until about 10 years after I came to this country. Oh. Nobody okay. tell me that I can take ESL. I got dumped into a small town like in Waterloo. Well, 34, almost 40 years ago, 1987, Waterloo was kind of hickey. Yeah, I'll bet. I bet it was hickey. Yeah, two, two big universities, but still kind of hickey. But nobody told you there was classes so that you could learn English better? I was the only non-English speaking person in the high school that I got dumped in. You were it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. Dump. He got in. dumped in. Dump, dumped in. He's did you just make fun of him? Don't do that. Did you think he was a dumpling? Dump dumpling. Oh, you got dumped in oh, high school. <laughs> that's racist. What do you say that for? <laughs> Wasis. Wasist. Wasist. That's actually yeah, kind of racist talking about chingalish. Is that what you call it? What it? Chinglish. Chingalish. Yeah, chingal and you a lush. Chingalish sometimes. No, it's the how you want to But it's back. fun that you can yeah. be as intelligent and as gifted and as artistic as you are and still make light of everything and enjoy yourself cuz Music is just supposed to be fun. He has it's a, fun. He has a Paul Beam with his pronunciation. Plo, plo po, I cannot po pronounce the po word. Lounce. I cannot pronounce the word pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> That's good fun. There's lots of things I can't good pronounce. Good everybody. I'm a freckle-faced redhead, and I had to sit in school. I, I know how you, you, you're the only one. I was the only one. Now you're doing this thing, and we're all happy that you've got a light sense of humor and that you're great at this stuff. I don't have sense of humor. You do. And you have you two don't. thumbs okay. also. You have to, well, they're on the camera right now. That's right. Yeah, I rather have no. I I, I like anyone to have. And your no nails are thumbs. polished nicely. That's right. We have, we all have thumbs. All right. Thumbs. thumbs. Yeah, These are we got thumbs. thumbs. So anyway, thanks for coming to visit us. We I, I want to tell you as much about this wonderful human that works so hard for all of us. I don't work for anybody. You no, know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Create, and we like that your creations. How's that? I know you don't work for anybody. You work for. The pure uh, artistic creation that you can do each day. You like audio Santa Claus. You should, you're like good. audio Disneyland. It's like Disneyland. Yeah, he brings everyone. She makes stuff, and we do. He does it every day. Where was Not just the, but I but I don't work for you. I don't work for you. I just make all this stuff, and right because I like making it. <laughs> Basically, because I like making it. That's what you do. Yes. You make because you like making it. But and we love selling, that you do. You have to keep selling to keep my bench moving. I, I got to keep out of space. Well, I don't think it's your bench running out of space. I think it's your happiness running out because you can't create more. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because that's what that's what yeah, rocks the I boat over right. there. I give that's up right. because I want to eat chicken wings. All right, let's do it. Okay, so let's do it. Let's eat some chicken Bye, wings. Everybody.